Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to expand a single bracket. So the question will look something like expand 3 bracket x plus 4 or 3 brackets 4x minus 5. And I'm going to show you how to do both of these questions using the grid method. So let's set up our grid first. So there's your grid. We're just going to populate this from the question above. So on the outside, we have a three. So we're going to pop a three just here. And then inside on the left, we have X. And on the right, we have plus four. So that's a positive four. So we're multiplying these. This means three lots of X plus four. So three times X plus four. So let's populate this. We've got three times X, which gives us three X and three times four, which is 12. I'm gonna put a plus there because it's a positive 12. So my answer is three X add 12. Tick. The second example, let's set this up. So three again on the outside and then four X on the left and minus five on the right. Again, we are times in. So three times four X, well three times four is 12. So three times four X is 12 X. And then three times negative five. Well, three times five is 15. And three times minus five is minus 15. So popping these together, 12 X minus 15 is the correct answer. You can also do other examples and more complex examples such as x brackets x plus 4 where I'd set up my grid x on the outside x on the left plus 4 on the right x times x is x squared and then x times 4 is 4x so my final answer for this one would be x squared plus 4x we can do examples where there are three sections inside. So let's do X plus Y plus seven. And again, you set it up in exactly the same way, but just with an extra layer. So three X, Y and seven. Three times X is three X. Three times Y is three Y. And then three times seven is 21. Sorry, that should be a positive seven, which makes it a positive 21. So the answer for this section is three X plus three Y plus 21. If you do get any other questions, just drop me an email or post onto the Microsoft Teams wall. Thank you very much.